Uh, all right, y'all straighten up. Our minister's in the building. Johnny Lee Dees is in here. Going straighten to fill us in anyway. on what's happening at Auburn later on this morning. But Harlan, first of all, let's talk about D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Is that still going on in Athens? It's still going on. Going on everywhere. Now, I have been told that in Huntsville, I'm through with my divorce scenes currently. Uh, you may not that know it that. Takes, in, in Madison County, <laughs> it takes about two years to get in court and get divorced. Is that true? Uh, it's still taking about 18 months or so here, 12 months to 18 months. Is that here too? It's here. Yeah. What's the problem? People just can't get along or is it just a backlog? It's just a backlog. I mean, you can only try so many in a week and uh, if you've got a doc that's got 30 or 40 cases, set, divorce cases set on it, and they're going to try that week, you can probably try five to six, maybe most through the week, so that leaves you 25 left over and <laughs> people need to learn to try to sell them. I know you make a good living handling divorces, but it, and it and this is coming from me who has spent a fortune doing it, getting divorced that is, isn't it easier to try to uh, mediate this deal now and get it out before he has to go to court? Well sure, I mean uh, yesterday morning after I was in court, we did a mediation at my office where I was the mediator and were successful in resolving a divorce case for a couple. How much less expensive can, is that for couples going through a divorce? Well, most of the time if you go to trial, you're going to be looking at a day in trial, and depending upon what your lawyer charges for an hourly rate, that could be a substantial amount of money. You but ain't that on five, top of a retainer $10, fee? True. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, by the time you pay your retainer and the time you get to trial, you've used up your retainer. Yeah. And you're well, then you're billed on. hourly, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not uncommon. People just don't want to Don't y'all shock and fall out of your chair and tell you this. But it ain't uncommon to spend $10,000 getting divorced. Oh, that's nothing. Not here, no. Not anymore. Hmm. But now, it's not as quite, a, quite as bad here in Limestone County. But, yes, you can go to Huntsville and hire a Huntsville attorney and come back over here and spend that in a heartbeat. How about, well, is it, isn't it better if you're getting divorced in Limestone County to hire a Limestone County attorney? Like well, naturally, I think so. Well, yeah, but, but I mean... But I, even when I was in Birmingham, I found that if you're the out-of-town attorney in family law, you're generally doing your client a disservice. Hmm. Because unless you're practicing in front of that judge on a regular basis, you don't know what they want to hear, how they expect you to try the cases, and you tend to have an idea of how they're going to rule. And if you're not there every day and every time they have a divorce court, you're not that familiar with it. And you're actually doing your client a disservice, I think. So there is a pattern that the judges follow. Well, there's the law that they follow. Right. And, and once you, you, you finally get your day in court and everybody's excited, going to do this and that, and then you got to go up and testify, which ain't good. <laughs> Especially when you tell the truth, it may be three months before you get the judge's order. Well, it's doing a whole lot better now than it used to be, but uh, most of them are coming out in 30 days or less now. Hmm, I was referring to a case over at Huntsville. It took our friend three months to get the mm -hmm. judge's order because the backlog. So if somebody's besides coming to you and getting advice, which is what they need to do, if they're see getting a divorce, is mediation, but they both got to kind of agree to that beforehand, yeah. don't they? Well, we've got one judge who orders mediation, and the other judge will order it if you request it. And mediation is being successful in a lot of cases. But now in mediation, y'all not in the same room, are they? And are, are one, uh, the possibly. Mo possibly, but most of the time, it's you've got one party in one room and with their lawyer and another party with their lawyer in another room, and you kind of back and forth between them, and just trying to find a common ground that you can work on and build on to resolve the case. Well, you know, I'm kind of a specialist at this divorce thing. <laughs> People usually just fight over the most petty things when it gets down to it. Sometimes. I mean, I remember one where they fought over flatware. <laughs> I think you could have gone to Walmart and bought a set of flatware for $40. <laughs> well, maybe wow. it meant something to them. Apparently both did. of maybe them. It, maybe it meant something to them. Well, right, you also do, when you say criminal defense, are you talking about DUIs? Are you talking about burglary? Are you talking about? I'm talking about all of them. If it's Anything. A, if it's a criminal if you've been charged with a crime, I will represent you. That's what I do. I represent criminal, criminal defendants all of every nature. Now, you represented the woman yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. It had been a big case for the last couple. We had uh, dead dogs and everything. Right. And you were, kind of, you were on 19 and 48 yesterday. Sorry we didn't call you for an exclusive interview. We would have you live this morning. <laughs> so what was her case? Well, it was just a simple case that... Uh, she'd had some mini strokes, as the expert testified to, and the mini strokes caused her to suffer from delusional 
episodes, and she just wasn't aware of what she was doing. And uh, because of that, she couldn't be found guilty because she had no intent to commit any crime. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Let's talk about some of the Doing better now, though, Ann. Doing better now. This okay. national stuff going on with Ann Sandusky. Uh, this thing is getting bizarre. I mean, what he pulled yesterday, and he was impressive, yeah, Andola, the attorney for Sandusky. They're going after this Mike McCleary, this assistant coach, the redheaded guy, in case y'all don't know who I'm talking about. Hot and heavy. They're going to make this guy, he'll never be able to get a job anywhere. Probably not. Probably not. They're saying he perjured himself. What's the worst the that's going to happen to Sandusky? So I don't know because I'm not sure about it. I haven't actually been keeping up with it. Uh, but, you know, it was a smart move by his lawyer yesterday not to have the preliminary hearing because it had all that testimony come out with all the news media. It would just po help poison the jury pool even further. And the nature of the charge already makes the jury pool limited as to what you can actually find somebody to give a fair trial. The city only has 4,600 residents. Right. And they did say that he's already heard testimony in front of the grand jury, right. so it's Has already he got a snowball's there. chance of winning this? Sure. So, I, I would say not just on the surface, but you never know what the actual facts are. Well, you look at Casey Anthony right. or something like that. Yeah, that's good. Well, let's go back to divorce. Somebody wants to get a divorce in Limestone County or anywhere. You can use Harlan. You do other counties besides here, Morgan County, whatever. Mm -hmm. What they just call make an appointment with the uh, call my office, make an appointment, and we'll get them in, talk to them, and tell them what we need, how we need to proceed. Are most people shocked when you actually it's going to be a year and a half, two years before y'all get divorced? Well, we tell them up front it'll take that long to get to court to try it, but we, you know, if we can reach an agreement, we can resolve this thing sooner. And I recommend everybody try to reach an agreement because you have the opportunity to as I say, take a scalpel and carve out an agreement that you can actually live with, and the judges are taking a meat cleaver and they're just chopping it up as they see fit when they hear it. And there's no way in a day's time I can put on 20 years of what's happened to, to you and your marriage. Point. That's a good point. When they're going through that, too, if it takes that long to get divorced, now, can I mean, in the meantime, in that year and a half or two years, are you not supposed to be seeing someone else? <laughs> yeah, well, well, come on, Harlan. You're not supposed well, to hear be, that. but... Well, Here's my opinion of that. Now, some of the judges here still, I think, still frown upon it. But I'm of the opinion that once the divorce has been filed, the marriage is over with. No doubt. And that if it's taken 18 months to get to trial, then you probably need to, you need to be, have some leeway. But you need to be ready to understand that you could suffer consequences from doing so. So it can I'm still be you. It's up. already over, and most of the right. time, yeah. the reason you're getting divorced is because the person you with now anyway. Right. Ain't that right? Oh, yeah, we'll see. Harlan Mitchell, you've got openings <laughs> Sign for the Harlan. Yeah. <laughs> I've got openings, yes. Y'all okay, give Harlan a call. Anything else we need to talk about? Not somewhere. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. <laughs> All right, we got to take Harlan. a break. When we come right back, Johnny Lee Dees will join us. He's upset Mozan's leaving Auburn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. We'll talk about that in just so a moment. Y'all hang on. 